in this video, we're going to be talking about the power of intention. And this video has the potential to drastically change your life if you truly listen to what I'm about to tell you. I don't mean that in some sort of way where it's this kind of fake hype, make sure you watch my video type stuff. This is truly, truly powerful if you really understand what I'm about to tell you, okay? So we're going to go through the power of intention, how this plays into your progress, your growth, because I was talking about this recently inside of a community with a group of business owners, and this was one of the most powerful things that popped up throughout the whole time that we were speaking. So I want to share with you in this video, okay? So the power of intention, what does this actually mean? Well, it's really where we are directing our mental energy and focus towards a certain outcome and a given path that we have committed to, okay? Very, very different to seeing if something's going to work out. Very different to maybe I'll try this for a little bit and we'll see how it goes. That's not an intention. An intention is a definite purpose and decision to win. That's what it is. To move in the direction of the thing that you are that you want to create and going all in on that. Okay, so in this video, we're going to break that down and we're going to break down the vicious loop that can either work for you to create things in your life much faster and kind of bring those into existence or it can work against you and just keep you in this constant loop of chasing different things. Maybe it's tactics and strategies. Maybe it is a, a new coach or a new mentor or a new course and you find yourself hopping from these different things. This is why. So the first thing I want you to understand is that when we are lo looking at the power of intention, we are here. So we are here at this point. We're working towards a specific goal that we want to move towards, which means that all of our mental energy and focus is going to go towards this goal. This is why it's so important to have one thing that you're focused on, not having multiple businesses that you're running. I mean, of course, you can do that when you have an establishment and you know have a team and all those things. Of course, you can set that out. But when you're in those beginning stages or if you're somewhere in the point of like trying to get to your first 100K a month or whatever the, the number really is for you, when you're trying to really build something from the ground up, one thing is going to be the best way to go about this because you cannot focus on all these different things at once. I made this mistake in the past as well, trying to have all these different business models and you know, create multiple streams of income when I was just in the beginning and very, very naive with these types of things, okay? So really what we're doing is we're directing all of our mental energy towards one specific outcome, okay? Cool. So the next thing we wanna look at as well, we have to understand that the path is going to unfold before us as we go on this journey, okay? So let's say today, we set a definite intention that we're going to achieve this outcome. It's already done, we know we're moving towards it, and we're confident that we don't need to know the next 10, 20, 30, 40 steps. We're confident that if we just focus on the next step at any given moment, we can move in the direction of what we're trying to accomplish, okay? So all that being said, we also have to understand that when we set this intention, it means that we are directing our mental energy, which means that we are going to have to become a different person and experience challenges and obstacles along the way. This is going to completely reframe how you see problems and challenges because they're all serving you. This is one of the biggest breakthroughs that I had that I want you to really, really take in as we talk about this, okay? Because when we are setting an intention, we are clearing the path before us. The path is opening up in front of us. We are saying, I want this different type of life. I want this abundance. I want this financial freedom. I want all these different things, okay? You saying that you want that means that you are okay with the fact that you have to become a new person. You have to shift your identity into somebody else because you at this current time does not have the thing that you want. Therefore, you and your current self does not match with that outcome that you're trying to create. Now, that doesn't mean you have to completely change yourself and like become this completely new, different person. In some cases, that actually might be the case. But what we're really trying to do and the way I look at this is that we're actually peeling back the layers and limitations so that we're becoming more of who we truly are, which is limitless, which is already at that point, we've just picked up these mental programs from, I guess you could call it the matrix or just people around us that have limitations or people who are living in lack or maybe our environment. We've chose to accept the reality that we've been currently in, which means that we don't match with this new outcome. So that being said, we need to understand that if we want to create this new thing in our lives, we need to become and shift into a different version of ourselves who takes different actions, thinks differently, has different mental processes and ways of really comprehending things and understanding the things that we're going to talk about in this video. Then how do we shift who we are? Well, we have to experience a certain amount of things in our lives to be able to change who we are. We need to change our perspective. We need to look at things differently. We need to experience some pain to be able to uh, appreciate the good things in life. We need to experience some sort of lack and limitation to be able to move out of that and accept that for what that was, that, accept that lesson. Really what we're getting at here is that when that path opens up in front of you, there's gonna be things for you to master, there's gonna be skills that you have to develop, 
this is part of the process. Getting upset or frustrated at the fact that you're experiencing problems or issues or things aren't going your way is just becoming a victim. You basically say to yourself that you want this new thing to happen. You want this new outcome. You want this new way of living, but you're not accepting the fact that you need to shift into a new version of yourself to really be able to accomplish that, which means that there's a mismatch there. And that's where you can fall very easily into victimhood and thinking that things need to be easier than they are. But for you to become a new version of yourself, you have to embrace these challenges, embrace these lessons and really learn the lessons, like really learn the lessons. And lessons can show up in so many, so many different ways, right? They could be you know, a trigger that we get from somebody else and we feel an emotion within us and we're like, whoa, that feels a little bit weird. You know, that feels a little bit um, like a struggle. I feel, I don't know why this feeling is coming up for me. I'm feeling jealous. I'm feeling fearful. I'm feeling doubtful of myself because of what this person said or what this thing, you know, said to me online or this video that I watched. That's not, that's nothing to do with the person that you were listening to or the thing that you were watching. It's all down to the thing that is giving you a signal, a clear and concise signal but that is the thing you need to learn. That is the thing you need to embrace. That is the thing you need to accept about yourself and integrate that into your soul. Integrate that into who you truly are. Because when you start to see everything in the world as lessons, not just as challenges and obstacles for you to just overcome, but for you to integrate into yourself, that's when you start to tap into mastery. That's when you start to progress at a rapid, rapid rate. Why? Because all the blocks are just signals for you to go deeper. They're just signals for you to uncover who you truly are, to remove the lack, to remove the self-doubt, to remove the fear, to remove the guilt, the shame, and all these things that may be holding you down or chaining you to the current version of yourself that you currently are at, okay? We need to be able to understand that these lessons are key parts of our journey and we need to embrace them, right? We get to embrace them. We get to master our emotions. We don't need to do anything. We get to do this because this is what we chose. We chose that we want this new outcome. Therefore, we have to become a different person. This is going to help us do that. Boom, challenge accepted, okay? That's how we can start to embrace these things and go in with a mindset of, this means that I'm actually moving towards my goals. I'm facing challenges, amazing. This means I'm moving towards my goals. I'm facing these kind of negative emotions, amazing. That's a challenge for me to go deeper. And when I go deeper and integrate that, boom, I'm moving closer to where I want to be. It's amazing. So hopefully that helps you reframe how you're seeing these different problems because they're all shaping you into who you need to be to align with this goal. Okay, and over a period of time that we'll get into in a little bit in a minute when it comes to this reflection loop, and over time you'll get there and you'll you'll look back, and it's not the goal that will make you happy, it's the actual person that you've become along the way and the freedom that you feel internally. So now let's get into how can we how can we really create this and make sure that this loop and this this kind of cycle works for you, not against you. Perception. Your perception is going to be your perception of the world and perception of yourself. This is going to be your worldview, your paradigm, how you view reality, how you see the world, the possibilities and everything that encompasses in that. Yourself is going to be how you view yourself. Do you view yourself as someone who figures it out? Do you view yourself as someone who cannot be stopped and no matter what, you are going to face these lessons and integrate them into yourself? How do you view yourself? Do you view yourself as somebody who is confident, who is on purpose, who is fulfilling their mission in life, someone who is tapped in to their greatest purpose, okay? Are these the things that you see about yourself or do you see yourself as someone who's in limitation or are you telling yourself old stories about yourself based on the past that you had or based on these things that happened to you that you feel victim towards and you can't kind of pass out the blame to these things that have happened to you? Is that how you see yourself? Because that's not an empowering place to be. So we have to be careful, very, very careful as to how we see ourselves because that will feed into how we see the world and vice versa, okay? So we'll come back to this in a minute. These are the things that we hold true to ourselves. They're the things that we hold true to ourselves in our mind, in our body, in our soul, and it affects how we show up on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So this means that it affects our attitude, it affects our mood, and it affects our feelings. Our emotions are gonna be a strategy for us to really start to accomplish more in our lives, okay? Because a lot of the time we are pulled away from the creation that we really want to bring into the world, from the, the business that we want, the, the income that we want, the love that we want, anything like that. The things that are going to stop us from that are low level emotions, stuck in low levels of consciousness, like you've probably heard me talk about in other videos when it comes to the map of consciousness. Okay, I'll quickly throw it up on screen here. These low level emotions are where most people stay stuck and they will dictate the future that comes afterwards, okay? Because they will steer you in that direction right it's very easy to get pulled around by these different emotions and we can you know we can say that they don't affect us but everybody gets affected by their emotions but the important thing to realize is that emotions are also strategies and the most emotionally intelligent people use their emotions to their advantage they think about what emotion do i need to feel in this given moment 
to get what I want out of it. What we hold true to ourselves in our minds is going to dictate the result that we get in our lives. Okay, so we'll loop back to that again in a minute. This is the feedback loop because when we get a specific result based on our perception and based on our self-image, it's going to feed back into our paradigm. What we see in our external world, which is the result in this case, what we see in our external world is going to dictate how we see the world going forward. Because we're based in a 3D world, we look to the external world around us to give us certainty around what we're capable of what is possible for us and this is where a lot of the limitation comes from because it's really the idea that we need to see things to believe things are possible when really it's the complete opposite we need to believe it first for it to come into reality okay so this is why this result that is created from our worldview and our self-image based on the intention that we've set the things that we hold true in this area will dictate a result that will show up in our lives this will give us feedback and form our paradigm and worldview as to what's possible for us, okay? So if you're not getting the best results here in life, right? If you're not getting the best results here, that's gonna feed back into, well, I guess this is all I'm capable of. I guess this is um, what my life is gonna be like forever, right? It's just like this immediate kind of thought that comes to our mind and this feeds directly back into your self-image. Well, I guess I'm only, I'm only able to do this. I guess that I'm not that abundant. I guess that I'm, you know, I'm always going to be like this. And that feeds into how you view yourself, okay? So what we need to do is we need to master this loop by creating it rather than being a victim to it, okay? So when we look at this and what this means, the worldview and the self-image, we have to be able to hold an attitude that aligns with the result that we want. We need to be able to hold a consistent mood with the reality that we want to create, the result that we want to create down here. And we need to hold the right feelings, the emotional strategy that is going to give us the result that we want. Because when we control these things in alignment with our intention and our goal, then we change our reality. We create our reality based on our intention, based on our emotional strategy to get what we want, okay? For example, if two people are having an argument, they're both experiencing feelings of anger. That's their strategy. Nothing gets resolved until those two people either come to a state of neutrality or at least one of them comes to a state of neutrality. That's the only way that the actual outcome can change. Otherwise, you have two people bashing heads and it will, nothing will actually be resolved. You'll never get the outcome that you want, which is peace, which is getting back to normal, which is like obviously ending the argument and moving on from it. The only way you're able to do that is you change your emotional strategy. Okay, so to be able to get the result that we want, we have to understand that the result that we want, the outcome that we want, requires a different emotion to be able to create that. Okay, so... To be able to understand this even deeper, we have to understand that at all times, we're always feeling a certain emotion. Like what is the default emotion that you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, if the default emotion that you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis is not something that is in alignment with the goal that you're trying to create, it's gonna be very, very unlikely that you're gonna hit it because you're gonna keep falling back to baseline. You're gonna keep falling back to the old identity, to the old reality that you're currently living in right now, okay? So what we need to do is we need to change the emotion strategy. Well, how do we do that? We raise up our levels of consciousness. We raise up on the emotional scale so that we can go from places like fear and guilt and shame and remove these things and balance our perceptions and make sure that we are leveling up and seeing the world clearly, making sure that our lens of reality is not broken and we start to move up these levels. And when we move up these levels, naturally, we start to change our attitude, our mood, our feelings. We become more abundantly feeling internally. We start to feel more grateful for the life that we do have. And all of those things play into creating a new result in our lives. So obviously in business, there's gonna be a certain strategy that you have to execute, but you can execute something from a place of fear. You can execute something from a place of doubt and you can be inconsistent with it and you can go up and down and never really be you know, doing it consistently. Or you can come from a completely different place of empowerment, of service, of love for the people that you're serving. If you compare those two people, the person who's taking actions from a place of fear, right? You feel that from him, right? You feel the scarcity in, in where he's coming from. Or you compare that to somebody who is coming from a place of love, coming from a place of service. The action takes on a whole new level of conviction and you feel more drawn to that, especially if you're tapped into your intuition as well. I've definitely been on calls with people where I can immediately pick up what kind of energy they bring. And if I feel any ounce of scarcity or lack or fear that's coming from the person, they're trying to enforce like sales tactics on me or something like that, immediately they've lost a sale. I'm never going to purchase from them. So that's something that I just want to demonstrate there to you. There's a very big difference between those two things. And that comes from your emotional state, which is formed by how you see the world and how you see yourself. And that will lead into the results that you get based on your emotional strategy. And the beautiful part about this is that once you do this and you start to master this area here, Okay, and you have understand that there's a time delay. There's a time delay in everything, the creation process. We have to understand that as well. And we have to be able to maintain this throughout the time delay. 
to receive the result. And when we receive the result, again, feeds back into the feedback loop, feeds back into our worldview, feeds back into our self image. Okay. Which means that we see ourselves now as someone who can achieve more. And we're like, okay, I've seen the external world reflect my internal world. And I'm like, this is amazing. Okay. This is beautiful. Now I can achieve more. Let's go to the next level. Let's go to the next level. And immediately you start to get into mastering this process and you're coming from a different emotional state. You're creating more abundance or whatever it is that your goal that you're working towards. You're creating more of that in your life. And you're understanding that the internal world within is going to directly reflect into your external reality. And you start to master this loop. Now, the very last part of this, which is something I want you to be very, very careful of, is that when you start to experience a certain result in your life, and that feeds into your feedback loop. Over here is where a lot of people start to chase new tactics and new strategies, okay? They're thinking that, okay, I've been executing on this strategy and I keep getting the same results. I'm not really getting the results that I want. It must be the strategy. It must be the, the business coach that I'm working with. It must be the, the course that I joined. I better go find a new one. I better go find a new funnel. I better go and find a new marketing strategy, something like that, so that I can get the results because that's naturally how we're wired to find solutions. We think everything is outside of ourselves. We've been hardwired to think that everything that we want in life is outside of ourselves. That's the battle that we're constantly up against. And when it comes to mastering ourselves and mastering our mindset, we have to understand everything is an internal game. Of course, strategy is part of it. There's a quote from Tony Robbins that I really love, which is success is 80% psychology, 20% mechanics. A lot of people are living in the 20% thinking that they need more mechanics, they need more sales scripts, they need more setting scripts, they need more content scripts, they need more all these different things, but it's really just an internal game. It's an energetic game. And the more people that start to realize this and tap into this, the more they just have a significant advantage when it comes to life, business, and the thing that they're trying to create in general, okay? So I want you to remember that if you ever find yourself searching for new tactics and strategies, when you know yourself, that you have enough, you know yourself that you have everything that you need in terms of the external. It's time to go inwards. It's always an invitation to go inwards so that you can start to master this process. And one of these tweaks, even just realizing this and sitting with this, maybe even meditate on it, right? Spending some time with this could be the dramatic shift that you need in your life and your business to really be able to create that result for yourself. Because if you have the tactics and strategies and you're somebody who takes action and you're becoming more conscious and more aware and you're tapped into this process, it's only a matter of time before that comes into reality for you. So the tide is holding together. What you wanna do is charge every action that you take with a clear intention. So you can have a big intention for the thing that you're working towards, but charge every single action that you take with the intention. What is the outcome I'm trying to create by messaging this person? What is the outcome I'm trying to create by creating this video? Right, get very, very clear on that and charge that with the energy so that you can get the outcome that you want with a clear and concise intention. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're really going to enjoy this video here. If you want to go deeper on some of these things, I'll see you there.